Happy Friday. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're doing some balloon stuff today. Uh, we're going to talk about a local SEO dashboard so you can actually see what one looks like for a client of Balloon Suite and Asset Lab. And local SEO is all about helping search engines rank your business more highly when somebody's doing a search where there's geography involved. So near me or in Phoenix or in Miami, right? When it, whenever Google or the search engine thinks that the searcher wants a result based on a local set of businesses. Uh, you know, there's a few different factors that are really important when a search engine is considering what to show. Uh, number one, ads are important because search engines are generally ad companies. Number two, the location of the searcher. Number three, the location of your business. You know, maybe it's a service area business. Maybe you have a retail location. The distance and the area involved is important. And then we get into some other factors like the perceived value of your business by the search engine, which is really a search engine optimization thing, as well as the trustworthiness of the information that's online about your business. So all of these things come together to determine what a search engine is going to do for rankings. Oh, there's one other I would mention, which is your competition. If you've got strong competition doing lots of search engine optimization work, or maybe they've been around for a really long time, they have a ton of reviews, they have great review score, these things factor in, right? Now, the factors are the same, but basically when, when a search engine is considering, I have all this data from different businesses that may be relevant to this search, it now has to decide what order to put them in. And so that's why I mentioned the competition factor here. And, and I guess the takeaway is that there's a few different types of information there and decisions to be made that we have no control over, right? If I owned Google, we wouldn't be having this conversation. If I could put you in that top spot, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And no business that would give you any kind of service around search engine optimization or recommendations around it other than a search engine owns that search engine and could control that. So we could do everything right. We could follow all the best practices we have and what we see working for other businesses and, and apply that to your business. And we may still not get to a good spot on that search results page because we don't control the algorithms being used to decide which business goes in which position, right? And that changes over time and it can change drastically. Uh, for example, in June, July, August of 2022, we saw Google in particular start to bring in a new calculation, which was around the intent of the searcher. And did the searcher want a retail location? In some markets in the United States in particular, it really changed the search results when it came to balloon decor search terms because Google was determining that that searcher, their intent was for a retail location. And so if you were a service area business, you saw a huge drop in incoming traffic from your Google My Business at the time, now Google Business Profile listing. <clears throat> That's not within our control, right? We can give we can give all the trust indicators and we can give all the good data to the search engine, but then they're going to decide what to show. So let me show you what a uh, what a dashboard looks like. Our dashboards are updated regularly and they look just like this. Now, some of this data you're going to see is almost all of it. The, well, everything you're going to see is public information. There are some areas here where there's non-public information and I'm going to blur those out or cover them up when you're seeing <clears throat> this video. Um, so everything you're seeing and all the numbers you're actually seeing, these are this is all information that's publicly available about your business. So if there's any question about that, that's what's going on. Now, this is a client that has worked with us for a handful of months or so at this point. So we're really at the beginning of the journey for search engine optimization still. And this is the location summary. So this is the all up view. You can scroll down. There's a variety of reports here, depending on what we have access to in your world. If you've provided Facebook access, yeah. <clears throat> if we have Google Analytics access, and some of these other tools that we work with regularly, like Bing and Apple Maps, then you'll see blocks for those sections as well. What we're looking at here is a, a perception of the authority of the website there in the upper left. You see links and website authority, and it has 18 out of 100. Websites like Facebook and Google.com and Wikipedia, those are websites that tend to be around 100. Um, everything else is below it, right? Most businesses, most websites in the world are less than a 25 out of 100. So uh, this is just an indication of what you're see we're seeing trending up and down on the number of links coming into a website, the amount of trust we're seeing being assigned to a business uh, and that sort of thing. Now we don't necessarily have, in a local SEO package, we're not controlling any of these things, uh, but we are trying to influence in particular the, the citation flow score and the trust flow score. Um, next upper right, you're seeing Google Analytics information. This Well, it's not actually Google Analytics, this is Google Rankings. So we're running a variety of search terms on Google and Bing in particular, and we're watching how the business ranks. And there's one month shown here, but as you'll see when we flip to that uh, specific report, we have several months of data. 
And we're watching to see how these things change in this dashboard. Now, again, in local SEO, we're less focused on the specific keywords and how the business ranks and more focused on, on trust and perceived uh, value. And so we would expect these things to go up, but we're not in, in a website SEO package or a pro SEO package. That's where we're more focused about optimizing for specific search terms. Down here to the bottom left, you're seeing a citations box. This is talk. This is going to give you information about um, the the number of citations that we're managing or we've identified for the business, the number of citations that have inaccurate data or data that doesn't exactly match what we have typed in for the business. And, um, and you know, scores in the 40s and 50s are pretty typical kind of at this point in the, in the journey. But what we know when we've worked with a couple, for a couple of years with a business on their local SEO, we see a much higher percentage of and a much higher number of citations out there because we've built a lot more over time. And then in the bottom right, there's some data here you're not seeing, but there's this is just this is pulling data in from Google My Business, Google Business Profile, and showing you the trends of the data that you can see there when you go look at that profile from your business. So let's move on to the citations report. There's again some public, some non-public data here. <clears throat> so this chart, what you're seeing, there's a variety, there's a few different things you can look at up top. This is a count of the number of citations that have been identified for this business. Citations, number of citations. So citations are business listings. So forgive me if I keep using that marketing term. Um, and we like to see lots of citations over time. We like to see that they're all completely accurate and consistent among each other. And so as you can see at the very beginning, when we started working with this business, there were very few listings out there back in February. And we started building listings. And those are the greens. These are the thing that the new listings that we have brought to the table. And then there are listings that each month are being added to the existing section, right? So over time, this is going to trend up as more and more listings are built. Listings go on websites like, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn and your Google business profile, your Bing places, your Apple Maps. Uh, and then there's all sorts of listings that you've never heard of, like the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and on and on and on and on and on. Right. There's hundreds and hundreds of out, out there, but they're not necessarily relevant for your particular business. That's part of what we navigate when we're working on citations. Um, there's also a very interesting view in here of competitor citations where we can configure specific competitors for your business and then we can see which listings those competitors have. And this can typically help you understand if you have competitors that are doing SEO as you know, alongside you. And, and that really helps you understand who your, who your movers and shakers are in your specific geographic area. This next report is, is simply showing you a citation builder campaign. So there are a couple things here, the aggregators and networks. These are businesses that resell data. <clears throat> so we wanna have your business listed on these resellers. There's a couple of them that are new here. And so this business doesn't yet have their listing on them, but you know, any, any, any business that's starting up a new map engine or they want to do a new business directory for your area or something like that, they're going to go to one of these companies and buy that business data. That's why we want you involved in aggregators. And anytime you submit updates to us throughout the year, these get updated with that aggregator at that time. There's some citations that don't get updated live and there's some that do. And on these aggregators are definitely included that in the list of, of those that do. Down below, you can see then a schedule of how we've progressed and the number of citations we ordered and exactly what they were and what their status is. There's also going to be notes in here because for many, uh, many directories, we're going to need you as the owner to take some sort of action. You're going to need to answer a phone call and enter a pin, or you're going to need to verify the existence of your business. And so some of these have notes. So that is an overview of what a citation builder campaign looks like. And this get up, these get updated at least annually. It kind of depends on the business situation and the package you have. The next section I'm going to show you is uh, here's a view of that Google and Bing and other search engine rank tracking. So we have a list of keywords that we drop in here for for your business that is based on your niche and what it is you're selling. And so for balloon decor, for example, or balloon twisting, we have a set of keywords that we know are related that to you generating website visitors and business. So those are the ones that come in here and get monitored uh, consistently. And every month we're going to be able to see the trend of the number of number one rankings or two to five rankings or six to 10 rankings. <clears throat> and over time, what we want to see is we want to see this going up. But again, this isn't an area where we're specifically doing work in a local SEO package. So this is more data for us to consider and for you to consider when we're managing SEO and trying to understand what's moving and changing in the business and how we can adapt to that. 
in our local SEO package. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have local SEO service from us, then you're, you, you have this link available to you to see your dashboard and you can walk right through it and check it out and, and get deeper than this because you get to see the data that's specific to your business and not public. And uh, if you have any questions about local SEO, feel free to drop them in comments or reach out to us in the support team and we can answer them for you. If you have any questions about your specific service, of course, we want to hear from you. Don't hold those things back. We want to know as soon as you've got questions. And if, you know, if this is something that you think would be valuable to somebody else to, to have a look at because you know their business could use some, some good mojo, some good juice, some good action in their local market, please just take a minute to share the video. That would be fantastic. And I'd really appreciate you sharing that with somebody who you think would benefit from it.